Ooh, ooh, spooky Halloween episode. Ooh, I'm a floating head. And today I hacked my game and we are going to play a country that does not exist because it's a spooky Halloween episode. Look at my game glitching out. Ooh. Okay, I think that's enough of that. So we are uh, playing as Denmark and we have a bunch of Whew, we have a very good economy, but also we do have a focus tree now. We can continue the Kanzler of the League. Uh, okay, we have welfare and we have warfare. <laughs> I get it. Twenty percent monthly pop. Wow, that's not a lot, but I, I mean, I guess it's cool. Policy of disarmament. Uh why would you ever? For Konge og Fadgeland. For Kong or Fejlroland. Eh, close enough. I'm gonna be honest, Denmark seems kinda lame. <laughs> well, we're gonna play it and then... <sighs> I should have stapled that thing to my clothes or something to make it easier. But we can call England, but also all of the Nordics. I guess we are going to reaffirm neutrality. And I suppose that's one way to uh, simulate the six hour war. If Germany invades us, we can just become a puppet of Germany. Might as well steal some trains. We shall unify the right. Do we have some interest? Oh God, we have way too many guys. We are going to hire Knutbach, the Landsbruchsminister. Honestly, the only thing I dislike about the welfare spending is the production efficiency analysis. The rest I can honestly live with. Also, why did they build mill factories? What's wrong with me? Actually, I guess, yeah, we don't really have anything, so mill factories are fine. Möller? We can get training guy. I'd rather get Erik Wiff. <laughs> Erik Wiff whom? <laughs> I got him. If we go down, yeah, if we go down here, we're gonna get volunteer only. How much do we need for the other thing? 40% for the bone depart yet. It says you're not even speaking a language, man. Why can't you be normal? Like your neighbors, like Germany. They need support for Ireland minus 0.02%? I think that's a typo. It's not supposed to have percent there. We are going to devalue the corner. Oh no. I got a body for a second. I really have to keep this bullshit up for the next three hours. Right, now we can overthrow the government and we are going to hire the industry magnate before we do that. But that made a three color destruction speed. Uh, I don't care. I'm gonna get a bad factory output. That is definitely not the smart thing to do, but I'm gonna do it anyway. And then we are going to trade with Sweden. If we do that, we can't construct anything. <laughs> hmm. That's a bummer. Yeah, let's trade with Sweden a little bit. Just one steal, thank you. Do we have a navy? I think we do have. Yeah, we do have. Well, uh, let's say we, we have boats. We don't have a navy, but we have boats. Right, let's let the king assume power. Okay, we need manpower divisions and we need more warfare. Oh, look at that. Christian X, the X Files, the, the guy from the. Um. I don't know. I don't plan on building a navy, but also I never know with these sorts of iron games. I didn't expect that I would play until 1983, the last time that I booted Hoi 4. A triangle! <laughs> Your truck is called a triangle! <laughs> I can't take the thing seriously. Somebody anschlussed. It wasn't me. <laughs> oh, we also need to move the balance of bull crap. Uh, Let's do this one. We can secure Sweden first or Norway. Hmm. This might be a very stupid idea, but it could also be very hype and cool. Invite the kingdom of Denmark to the Northern Security Pact. I can invite myself to my faction. Yes, let us protect the precious. I guess let's form the faction, see what happens. We can invite Poland. That one I didn't expect. I could invite Poland not joining in the war against Germany and let Germany annex Poland. And then later on we can free Poland again. We can core Iceland and look at what we would get. 120,000 population. We are, we are, we are not aligned and we can get extensive conscription. Paradox, what's wrong with you? That's actually sensible. That actually makes sense. Ooh, an arty expert. Yes, please. I lost my PP again. Oh. Whatever. I should probably also do naval invasion support. 
Look at the naval invasion, it was so worth it. I wouldn't have conquered Sweden if it not were not for the naval invasion. If it not were for the naval <laughs> Humor is dead. Ah, the, the craziest part about this is, is if I didn't check here, we could have just been capitulated and I wouldn't have noticed. I guess that would be a Danish roleplay, huh? That was a six hour war reference for those among you who didn't get it. What the fuck? I sure hope you give it back to me at some point. Or else I'm gonna knock you downstairs. And then you're never gonna be able to walk. Get oh wait. Was that uncalled for? I don't think so, he stole Greenland from me. Ill! 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 Dang ding! Dang ding! Dang ding! Dang ding! Dang ding! <laughs> the Danish voice lights! <laughs> I love them. I want to protect them. Ew, ew. <laughs> and let's also just pressure Germany with my grandmother. Ah, oh, you are such a bad boy. I guess I should have waited with declaring the wars. I'm gonna reload. I should have done this earlier. Point seven daily PP gain. I could also declare one Finland immediately. You know what? Let's go balls to the walls. Right, let's go in. Dang, 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 dang. <laughs> what the fuck? I just declared one Finland. They're not even here on the border yet. Because of the Finnish sniper event, I'm not gonna be able to get total mob now. Surely you're out of men now. That is the entire Swedish army. These five divisions. Right, Sweden has been integrated. Oh, those borders are st um, Uh, You just take these VPs, I guess, and you try and defend Oslo. Actually, this guy doesn't even want to take Oslo. Okay, we can now get a non-aggression pact with Germany. I did get Greenland back, nice. I'm not gonna kick you down a set of stairs then. It's also interesting that Paradox doesn't know how to write Copenhagen. That's not how you write Copenhagen. <laughs> Silly Swedes. Yes, Norway is gone as well and I'm gonna get your navy and Germany is not gonna be able to steal it. Denmark grows and we can probably become Super Denmark now. Yes, the Kalmar Denmark. Yeah, Finland, you might have snipers that just got my war support for some reason, but hey. You still have a stupid AI. And the German volunteers are going away now, but that's fine. You have secured yourself. Certainly a valuable ally that's not gonna backstab you. T fucking idiot. Oh wait, we still need those blades. Can't forget about those. <laughs> those <are> blades. <laughs> Get it? Those blades, these nuts. Justifying on me now, right? That's fine. We have a non-aggression pact. You wouldn't break that one, do would you? You're so nice. With your kind little mustache. There we... Do you want Karelia? You want more than that, okay. I'm up for a tussle. But first I shall proclaim Nordic unity, the Nordic League. Oh, that's certainly a flag. Oh, the rights to all resources in Norbotten. But it would be fun. Force the Soviets into a very early Barbarossa. If I wanted a more chill game, I would give up Karelia. But I am not interested in chill today. Oh, we can even get a Kane State on the Shetland Islands. There we go. We have the Northern League now. We can declare war. We do have... We do not have Navy. No! Low enemy intel. All right then. Let's get Naval Department going. And Spy... I don't care about you, Turkey. Stop asking me. One of these days, I'm gonna write a mod that just removes this decision. The, the, the British entered. We just need to get over there now without being intercepted. By the Dutch even! Last attack, force stand. All right, we have landed in... Oh, not the easiest landing I've had then. I've had some resistance. There we go, we have landed in Britain land. Then let's deploy all of our units. We only have 70 days to capitulate the Britons. Really wouldn't mind giving you mill access now, Germany. Okay, is there anything else we can go for? Oh my god, I made Germany way too strong. Wait, I think I also need those two states. There we go, we can restore the North Sea Empire. I liked our previous color more. Also, wasn't there an achievement? Right, conquer the United Kingdom, not conquer England. Paradox. Five days to get our entire army on the front. Yeah, I probably made Germany a little bit too strong now. Uh, 
Uh, and since the Soviets are going to grind up against me instead of the Germans, that also really doesn't help my case. The only one that we can now establish is the Dominus Marium Balticaminus Ni. Stalin, would you mind waiting just a few days with the war declaration, please? Yeah, I expect that to happen. You know what? Sorry, Finland. That's not worth it. You know what's the worst part about the screen screen is? It's not even cold. I'm genuinely sweating under this thing. Oh! <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess I'm not one of the kindest guys. Wait, Romania, you want to send me? Yes, give me. They will immediately be called back, but... I guess people didn't like that I declared war on everybody. Of course the UK still exists. We definitely need to take the British Isles back. Uh, just, just give Denmark up, man. Why does everybody hate the Nordics? The Soviets and the Germans are working together to encircle my divisions. Oh, I've seen that one before. I wish there was a way to just select all of the divisions that are in combat right now, or those that aren't in combat. Maybe there is. Any divisions can't reorg while they're in reserves. If the Germans just keep on ramming into us, they will eventually win. You know, America, if you want Greenland, you can take it. But please help me. Do something. My divisions can't get out of the battle. Oh no. I'm gonna be attacked from two sides now. Another naval invasion. No. I can only deploy divisions in England now. This is a Halloween episode. It's horror. This is literally Poland. The Soviets are attacking from the right and the Germans from the left. I don't want to play anymore. If necessary, alone. Oh, fuck you, America! The new world is gonna come to the liberation of the old? I don't think that's gonna happen. I'm gonna push you off some stairs. That is our only hope right now. The British Isles are ours. Just look at this. They don't have any strength. The navy that the Germans stole is so strong. 400 ships. And I can't build naval bombers because I don't have the resources for it. And I don't have the resources for it because Germany owns everything. Our world, our England, is a place that has seen its share of darkness. George Orwell, a renowned historian of our time, documented the past in his work in 1984. But let us remember, it is not a work of fiction. It is... No, that's wrong! Historical account. In this timeline, I did pretty much the exact same thing as before, just that I haven't played until 1961. Also, personal recommendation, once you attack Sweden, just position a bunch of your troops here. I positioned around four in Copenhagen. That pretty much made the war against Sweden super easy because they only positioned a few troops here. Namely invaded, we picked off those troops. They nearly invaded and so on and so forth. If you just put your entire army here, you just get World War 1. A few things that are different, which you can already see on the screen. I just delayed everything a little bit and then I declared war in Finland. And then the Soviets declared war in Finland. And I was dragged into the common turn. I, I mean, I suppose communists and the monarchists, they are the best grouping that you can imagine. We are all going to worship me together. So I will be our king. Because we are, we have our Danish uh, focus thing, we can actually invite all of the common turn guys into our research thing. I was kind of scared that this would happen that we would immediately get peace out because the Soviets have their peace out event and you know if they call in Mongolia they have to peace out Mongolia as well so of course we are getting peace out even though we started this war and then later on the Soviets joined us and we were forced into the faction so we can't even leave the faction. Anyway I guess we're gonna make Germany strong again. You actually get funds. I thought it would cost funds to use MIOs. So the only cost associated with using MIOs. If you are producing, let's say we research, researched um, super improved artillery and then we get a bunch of our MIO buffs, then we can just produce 
super improved artillery with the MIOs, but because we are already producing the improved artillery with, with our MIOs, we would need to spend five, art, uh, five army experience to upgrade. There is no reason to do this. I will uh, justify on you at some point and probably gut my war support again because you are magical. Let's open a spy network and we might as well start working on the naval department. Right, let's go in. We do not have enough naval power. We're actually going. There is resistance in Newcastle. Since AAT started, I played a few games and I was confused because something felt different while invading the UK. And something is different. They took Kokomau from us. They replaced it with Carlisle. I'm just gonna take all of the English stuff, hopefully, without capitulating. The Germans still have, I think, half a, a month. In that case, let me do this. <laughs> Who knows, I might have to build a navy this game. I didn't think I would end up in the common turn, so I'm gonna keep my options open for now. No! It was so close! But still, we do have quite a nice number of points. We can restore the North Sea Empire. We do have a much bigger empire, a much better empire than before, but also we did take a long time here. Now I just need to do 5 billion borders. Actually, the Germans are already coming in. Okay, that sucks. I'm gonna call in the Soviets as well. Oh, look at the research bonuses. My lord, this is looking nice. Don't tell me you can't leave. Just because you're in the tile of the Danish belts. I'm not taking another step in that direction. Of course, our capital is Sheffield. At least pick London. Oh, Stockholm. I guess this is just the display where they are. But come on. Independence movements in the British Raj get us strength. Why do I care that Mao Zedong visited the British Raj? Can anybody tell me that? And very useful button to press. This one. We can convert some of our old tanks that we produced. Look at that. We're reconquering everything. Let's produce a few medium tanks. We're probably not gonna need them against the Germans, but uh, it's gonna be useful for late game. Fall of Moscow. You can eat a few more rocks, but uh, uh, the, the counterattack will soon come, don't worry. Okay, we almost have 1k fighters. I shall start deploying these. Now they are slowly taking everything. Well, at least we're making them pay for it. And the Germans have already lost 3.4 million to us. Okay, I need to start investing in the Turkey. They always join against me. Plus 100% heart attack. That's a typo, right? Okay. Why did it take you so long to do it this time? Running a bit out of... I know I am running out of manpower. Funny how that happens, huh? Oh, that's also why I don't have factories anymore. That makes all the sense. It's actually a bit insane how well these divisions can push even though they don't have supply at all. Let's take a look. Do you still have... Yes, you still have 2,000 planes. Oh, okay, that's... Pretty bad now. Just gonna dump you guys over here. Mm, mm, mm. We might be able to push into Germany. Although there's 5 billion divisions here. Yo, my intel is insane. What? Iron Man mode is on. Why do I have so much intel? I don't even have a spy set up. That almost feels like a bug. Oh my god, how did I deal more damage than the Soviets? They lost 8.4 million. Yeah. They now have the Soviet industry and we don't have oil. <laughs> Shanghai. The Americans always amaze me. Or oh, well, the AI in general. I personally feel like they bomb the wrong people, but uh, maybe it's the right ones in their minds. Circuits? Algorithms? Oh, we can potentially puppet Finland. I'm just gonna try it. Oh, nice. I'm not sure if I can use the snipers now. Oh, right, they immediately get called into the war. That's... Hmm... Not that great. Scraping the barrel, let's go. Uh, I think I kind of broke this. Finland is part of the Northern League, but I can't do the other focuses. I really hope at some point we will see a custodian team for Hearts of Iron that just fixes all of these things. And you know, that actually tests just a little bit. Just a few corner cases like this one, that you overtake another faction. Danish Finland has capitulated. I guess we can integrate you now. There we go. Germany should be at zero manpower now. Yeah. <laughs> could just watch this number drop. 
Germans might have bought some fighters from Italy. I'm not sure if the AI uses the market. Ugh, Italy is gonna be fun as well to grind down. But at least it's Italy, you know. I'm gonna look at Mussolini weirdly and he's gonna capitulate. Oh, <laughs> I'm starting to push out the Germans and now the Italians are arriving. I'm just gonna move my supply capital over to Oslo. That should probably help the situation here. Since a few convoys are getting raided and uh, we don't have a navy anymore. The additional divisions that they can drop in invasions are starting to hurt me. Italy is also an all adult surf. I've not done anything to you. You're still improving national spirit. He did that focus like four years ago. Look at that, we have supply, we can push again, finally. Time is a flat circle. That means I have to push over to China. <laughs> If I go to war with Japan, I might be able to invite the US. Uh, I guess bad timing. I accepted a non-aggression pact a little bit earlier. I guess we'll just have to deal with the no China policy. Oh my, that, that's a development. You know what, I might as well push up here as well. Uh, it doesn't really look like they want to auto push. <laughs> you can just see what was occupied by the Germans for the longest time. Just by what I've not been developing. Ah, that's what you get for dealing with the smelly, wishy French. I know why he's not doing his focus. Because at some point he occupied London. The focus will pause if the requirements are not met and he's not gonna cancel it. I guess I bricked Germany out of a focus the entire time. It's nice that my guys are dedicated, but I don't think we really need this front line. I, I think we pushed into here already. It's just a freeway war. Meanwhile, you could just walk into here you do have supply there's no units here i would like to push into hungary get all of their juicy aluminum on. oh yes the germans have capitulated we have freed the soviet union the borders are gonna be even more than just atrocious this time around ah, let's boost up the soviet economy a little bit not that the 64 aluminum really does anything for me right now. I guess we're gonna make Turkey strong now. <laughs> Why can we annex Syria? That should be a puppet. And the French scuttled our fleet. Which French? They don't exist anymore. Romania is also gone. Should give the Soviets a little bit of breathing room now. The Regio Ari Arinautica. Regio Arin Aero Regio Regio. The Italian Air Force is no match. <laughs> Oh, it's great seeing your Air Force not exist. Great, the only aces that I have are dead. I just wanted to edit my medium tank template. Oh, I shouldn't play in Scandinavia anymore, like... It's just draining. It's mostly just Scandinavia and the achievements in combination. Because every single one is... Oh, do I have to design a tank again? Oh. <laughs> I have the hardest life. FR, FR. Actually, that's a lot of stacked divisions here. Hmm. If only I had some tanks. There we go, Italian Civil War. And Italy is gone. Croatia exists again. Very weird borders for Croatia now that I think about it, but... Uh, Croatia, Bosnia, they're all the same. I guess I was wrong. Oh no! I need to... I need to push a little bit differently. Wait a minute, I can't give... Are you serious? You would be dead if it weren't for me. I killed 25 million Germans on my own. Why do I not deserve this dorky piece of Romania? New Mughal Empire? That's certainly a name. Can I please get Eastern? No, of course not. They have a third of my points. That's scuffed. I'm also just kind of looking at the navy just because we don't have one anymore and I don't feel like building one. And for all I know, the US is gonna declare war on me. If the Soviets take stuff, I don't really care. I'll be back for that. Why does Turkey own the Falkland Islands? Hey, if you two can't behave, I'll just take them, okay? No! You know what? Uh, I'm gonna make it easier to be. Let's just get Melexus from Guangxi. Minus 10, minus 20, minus 40. Factors multiplied together, 43? I might not be good at maths, but come on. 
Right, so we're pushing into China and I'm starting to push into Iran as well. Oh my god, my front line is gone. Wah, wah. The Holy Trinity! China joined the Axis, Communist Japan has appeared, and it's 1960. 271 states. We have gotten the gain Dane law. I shall kick the Soviets. We shall justify on the Soviets. Because they took um Albania. And I'm also just gonna use the fact that we have 5 billion borders and completely ignore all of the borders. Another border added to my border pile. Yeah, let's be sensible here. If I don't do it, I know what's gonna happen. Iran. Ching China. Right, US. About that Greenland thing that we have. Would you mind um, giving it back? Again? That's the second Japanese civil war. Yeah, and you can see that because we don't have the bald guy anymore. So let's, let's go. Oh, stop with the communist threat receding event. I get it. I'm not China. Ah, I forgot about Albania. Blah. Well, thanks Greece. I guess you're part of the war now and all of my allies as well. I know I'm not allowed to proclaim Nordic unity because you have Greenland and you've not given it back. <laughs> This is so fucking stupid! The fact that the US is just a... The fact that... You know what? Shut up. Shut up. You just... I don't give a damn about you anymore. I don't want you to exist without my permission. I didn't want to have you. I just wanted to annex Italy, but no, I got the Italian puppet because Paradox says so. And I also don't want you to get Greenland. And why is it a third ship in these civil war? I don't think the communist threat is receding at this point. I think I've played Hearts of Iron for too long. Why do you own? Okay. Did you navally invade here? I sure wouldn't mind coring Finland and the Baltics right now. Japan, I think you have a communist problem. Shouldn't you be worried about that one? Like, a little bit? Of course not, you own Greenland right now. Yeah, I kinda expected us to be a rollover and die kind of moment for the Soviets, but I guess they didn't have enough time to rearm. It must suck for you. That's the sixth Japanese rebellion. Yay, the Soviets are gone. China is a major, let's go. We need to push through China. Oh, true, Mongolia is on my side. I was in the middle of designing a plane, you fuck. Don't forget about Alaska. I could grant you independence or I can send you a few triangles. Wouldn't you like to play with those? Fine, let's go back to Italy then. Don't make me get my planes. Oh, thank fuck I didn't have to invade Sardinia. Right, off to the thing that I didn't want to do again. The 10 PP that I got for getting for losing Greenland wasn't even enough to reimburse the justification. So fuck you. Oh. Good thing I stole some navies. Yay, that's it. And we're gonna be at war with Japan for the entire time, but I don't really care because now I have Greenland and I can't take the entire US Navy. That's cool. It's 1960, who's gonna stop me? I guess the angry mob outside of my apartment. Angry! Awesome. We can't proclaim Nordic unity. We will be known as the Northern League. Oh, like the, the faction. Ah, okay. You can either call England or the Baltics. Uh, no. So, the entire war against the Soviets was pointless. Whatever. Oh, no. We're gonna release Sweden, which does mean we lose all of our cores in Sweden. A, a colony state? That's the first time I've seen that. I guess the US never called Alaska? Oh, Mexico. Why do you have to be like this? All right, I'm gonna get a free Mexico done. Also, I'm not going to world conquest again. <laughs> Not as a neutral Denmark. It's literally been the last game that I played. I am not going to do all of this bullshit again. Because at this point, the world conquest is just... Ooh, justified conquer, wait. Haha, <laughs> Met Plutonium 2. Thank you, Paradox. Such a fun achievement. I suppose it makes sense that I don't have Swedish calls after this. I just release them in order to declare war on them and then drop a nuke on them. I'll have to navally invade you to cap you. Franco, please do this for me. Thank you. Mexico is gone. Yay. There we go. Nuke Japan. 
Just for good measure, I'm gonna need a second time. Failed! That one wasn't even me. Hey Japan, I guess you should have surrendered. Yay! War's over, let's nuke a little bit more. Da -da -da -da. Everything is awesome. We are maximum welfare. I will never have to play Denmark again. Until in like two DLCs when Paradox adds a very funny achievement again. Yeah, the Soviets really just drained 5.5 million because I was too lazy to micro this. And I kinda also underestimated how many units they have. But I wanted to play the Bhutan game soon, but I just played three games that went past 19... almost 1960. All of them were pretty much World Conquest. I just... Like... Those things are fun from time to time, but not back to back to back to back to back 